yeah. taking up all of the. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. How are you? Okay. So we are both in the worst mood tonight. Turn that off, Mama. I am no. I'm like actually about to lose it with this person. Whatever. You know what you need to take, Libby. You need to take this. Okay. New mood. Y'all look at my fingernails. This is the best things. Oh my god. Half gosh, of them are Mom. broken off. That's bad. Isn't that terrible? I didn't have a chance to go today. Um, hey everybody, sorry we missed last night. We had yeah. a crazy weekend and I had a million interviews yesterday, so I needed to just um have a day, take a break, because we were actually on the road this weekend, weren't we, Libby? Yes, we were, and the lighting is I know it's too bright. You need to turn no, it down. No, it's not, I think it's a little Just a little bit. Just just a tiny bit. There no, see, that made it worse. That made really? It worse. Well, now it's doing that thing. I know. So, we, oh, that's good. No, where are you had it? Go down just a little bit. Gosh. Right there. Okay. So, we don't have our normal ring light because we left it on the tour bus. Um, and so, we have another ring light that you guys would not even believe. It's like... It's like this makeshift it's, stand Yeah, it's that sitting on a thing that rolls, and then there's a basket turned upside down on top of the thing that rolls, and Genius, then there's the ring light. Yes. Can I turn off the fan, please? Oh my god! I think I just turned this light off. Okay, not, we are not in. We're not friends today. Really, we're not. I. I no. Is that no, terrible? No, it looks like we're in a dungeon. No, I like that. I don't. Does that look okay? okay? Um. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> my hair. Okay. Well, mom and I are. Well, we're of, we're just kind of kidding. But okay. also, we love each other. But here's what happened. It started with. Last night. Actually, it started a long time ago when you bought the dog. Is there a hair stuck? When I bought the dog. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we do need to... What are you doing? I'm trying to fix it. That was too aggressive. <laughs> um, okay. Last night, Libby and Audrey slept together in my bed. And so Daddy J and I slept in Olivia's room. Which I know is weird, but Audrey and I just... Really? Well, because you guys, it was so cozy in my room, and you, it's hot in your room, and you yeah. guys fell asleep watching a movie, so that was fine, but then you guys decided to put the dogs in Audrey's room alone, but let me tell not you with why. you. Because they were barking in the first place. She was at the door barking to get out in the first place, so I was like, oh my god, and this was at like 2 a.m., and I was already sleeping, and I was so annoyed because I don't like my dogs in the first place, like, at yeah. all. I'm a cat, per like, I know, I know. Well, and our dogs are so annoying. I don't so know what's stupid. happened to them. They're just and so the dog was barking at the door, so I let them out and put them in the other room where they sleep all the time. I don't but know why, why does this have anything to do with me? So Libby's room is downstairs. Because I need some powder is what I need. Yeah. You agreed. <laughs> okay, so at 2.45 no, then the a.m. Dogs, the dogs, I woke up to more barking from the other room, them wanting to get out of the other room, even I though I had like just you. put them what did, what in there. I don't know. I just... I I don't know. Okay, so 2.45 in the morning, yeah. Olivia called me. You called me. And I'm literally so bitter. Because I can't forgive you. in my head, in my head, you stay up till like four anyway. I don't. You tell me I that know. every no, morning. I don't. You're like, oh, Libby, I that, is a, that is a lie. That is a lie. You say every no, morning. That is a lie. I didn't I... get to sleep until four a.m. You say that all the time, literally. We're like, I didn't fall asleep until seven. You say that all the time. I never say that I don't go to bed till four. No, I but, just say that. So some, in my brain, but even you, if that's not bed, the same as me saying I didn't sleep well last night. I didn't fall asleep till four. You say that that's not the day. same as you thinking mom is definitely awake. I'm I thinking should call most her. likely mom is awake because she complains about not being able to sleep every day. But day. either so, way, even if I'm awake, why would I have to deal with it? It was else? bad like, so, coincidence that you were awake the one time that that's I... sleeping better. Okay, so I sleep with headphones on because I listen to books at night while I sleep. Headphones in. Headphones in. Okay. These really cozy in-ear headphones sound better. Yeah. Okay. And much better. It's amazing what powder can do. Okay. And so lately I've been listening to East of Eden and it's the most amazing book. And, um, so at 2.45, Olivia called me. And so 
it was so loud it was in my ears and audrey's been having a, a little she hasn't been feeling well lately and so i thought it was about audrey so it scared the shit out of me i jumped up and i was like oh my god where's the phone and i was like hey and libby said hey can you get gypsy she's barking the dogs are barking can because you come I'm and like, get gypsy can you go mom i don't want them you can literally give her to avery i don't care I don't care either. So but why, why would I have to get up her? and get her when she's right next to your room? Because I thought you could get her, like, call her downstairs and they could sleep with you. Why would I want to do that at 245? Because you're nice to me. Well, it's not you reciprocating. Okay. Oh, that is rude. And Listen, so this is morning, it blurry, you guys? Somebody came... said it's blurry. No. Okay. The so first anyway. thing she said when she walked down the stairs was, I'm so mad. I was that. so mad. You were I, so angry. Because what happened was I had already fallen into the best deep sleep. When you called me, it woke me up, and I did not go back to sleep until like four. That's what I'm saying. The slightest thing wakes you up, anyway. So you're not sweet. Everyone thinks you're sweet. You're not being that sweet. That is to me. rude, mom. It was something one has changed time. about you. <laughs> you are dramatic. And then I came in. To have coffee, and the very first thing she says to me, because Olivia knows thing. that I don't really like to talk in depth, like when I'm having my first cup of coffee, I'm not grumpy, I just need a little bit of time to like, I usually like to watch TV right when I wake yes. up, so I can just, you know. And I'm get awake, working. I've been awake for two hours. Typically. Right, because you got a good night's sleep, because you called me and woke me no, because up. because I go to bed earlier than you. What has happened to you? I'm Who kidding. is making you self-righteous? <laughs> No one, I'm just messing with you, but seriously. You know that if you change, you know I'll blame it on someone. Oh, you're crazy. You know that. <laughs> I'm not. Listen. Okay, so then I come in there. So she said what? You don't, never mind. What does it say? It said Liv is really moody. She's missing someone, but. Oh, okay. uh, Liv's moody? Yes. Yeah. I'm not so, moody. We're both moody. Mom has been such in a bad mood all day. I have been. You I'm have. having PMS so bad. Okay, like, same. That's the reason that I'm crazy. I'm crazy too. So but don't so say I come in, anything else or I'm I come crazy. into the TV room to have my first cup of coffee and Libby says to me, um, I want to go to college. No, I didn't. I, I said. I'm filling out forms for college and I am really against college. Which is, let me just tell you, let me give you some I can't background. wait to hit the I've never been like wanting to go to college but like in the past couple of weeks I've been considering it because my life is I need some stability in my life okay and so there's just a lot of other reasons and whatever so this morning I was like I need to probably talk to you about it because I don't have much time and I was so nervous of course because I was like I don't have a time to talk to you about it because if it's at night you're like wanting to wind down and if it's in the morning you're also wanting to chill out so just, I feel like there's no time. That's not true. You have you, all day. You could talk to me if you want to go to college. Um, you can, but I just don't think you should because I think you will hate it. I don't. I don't know. I'm lost. So I'm just trying. What to do y'all think? Out. So people usually freak out when I say I'm against college, but I don't like college. I feel like it, unless you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Um, then you should go. But if you want to be a musician and a serious artist, then you need to just graduate high school and go into But it's so much course. harder than it looks. I have nothing to, like, if you told I me. I did it. Do, that was a different time. And I came from it's a farm in Missouri. It has changed completely. I had no money. I had no support. No, I had nothing. I just came here completely. on my own and worked my butt off. Mama? What would you want to study? Someone wants to know. It has changed completely. And I don't know. I really wouldn't want to go for music, which is what's funny. I would not at all. I would want to go for, I don't even know. I have other things that I'm interested in. But I wouldn't necessarily need to go to get my degree. I also just need to go because I want structure and I want to maybe experience it. But, like, I don't want to look back and be like, that was so stupid that I didn't go. Or, or... I went to college for 11 days, and I regret every day. Because you went, went and studied music at a small college. No, it was a great school. Central Methodist College in Missouri, and it's a great private small college. But um, That's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm just going to do Someone said I would make a great, great nurse. nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you should see me with that kind of stuff. No, Mom, Yeah, so the then way. I've been annoyed at you because... 
Because you woke me up, so I can't forgive you. I mean, I do forgive you. She literally can't. No, no I do it, forgive it's you. hard for you. But it ruined my day, you know what I mean? It's like you're a, a you're an infant, and you woke me up in the middle of the night So crying. you want me to keep living with you and do music so that I can wake you up more often? Yes, I want you to keep living with me and do music. I don't care if you I live don't. with me. I just want you to focus on music, because you're so gifted. But here's the thing, guys. It is a difficult thing to not have any clue as to what to do that day to move your career forward. Just do something. Write a song. I do. I do call, something every do day. Do a photo shoot. And I have but the main thing is you need to be writing songs with, like, with Avery. I have been. But I don't, I can't write with Avery. And there's just a lot of, I feel like, things that prevent me from actually doing what I want. Someone wants to know who my favorite New Jersey housewife okay. is. And it's definitely um, Teresa and Melissa because they're sister-in-laws and so the storyline is the most interesting about them. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm watching season nine over again because I've already seen season nine and season 10, but I'm now, yeah, your mom has a record label. I mean, I, no. I could produce a record on you Dude, and I'm an amazing producer. But that's but, the thing. You're telling me to do it on my own, so I want to do it on my own. I'm talking... You will be doing it on your own. It's your talent. It's your gift. You're the best singer. Like, ever. I want to. I just don't know if I want to, like, go into graduating high school with absolutely no plan. Your plan is you're going to get a, a record deal. But that's not easy. I have to. That, of okay, then I not. need to get ten thousand followers on Instagram today. Okay, everybody, follow Libby. Oh, it sounds like we're doing this on purpose, but that is true. Record labels do look no, at. That's all they care. Most of the time, you don't even need a record label now because they're. But I I will be a record label. I will front you. I will front the money for your album. But I don't want to like use you. You know. You don't want to be associated with me. As if. I literally am with you 24-7. I think you know if I didn't want to. Someone said take it. cooking classes. I could do that. Oh my gosh, I can't get this ring off. <gasps> Give me some lotion. Now? I'm having a claustrophobia get... no, fish. No, mom is claustrophobic. Ah! Look, it will not come off. Why did you push it back down? Because you're going to get it You have to go give me some lotion. That. Go. Can you just handle it? Please go give me some lotion. I want to see, see how you can make it. She no. is to <laughs> Oh my God. Listen, guys. The other thing... Is that mom? You oh, know I that it. I have at least one snarky day a month, okay? Yes, I do. Every Today's month, you your look snarky at me and you go, because... "I don't like you today." You always do that at least once or twice a month, right? Well, and that's normally normal. you're so just like amiable and you're so easy to get along with and easy to deal with. But I cannot understand why you would call me in the middle of the night. It's all about the phone call. Parents, moms, would you get mad? If your 17-year-old daughter called you at 2.45 and said, Can you come get the dogs? They're barking. <laughs> well. That just shows how spoiled y'all are. I've spoiled you too much. Um, just saying, stop I talking. I know I'm fortunate to, to have mom, like, in my career. And I want you to be in my career. I, I. No, you don't. You won't even I call yourself Olivia Evans. I, okay, that's not. I don't know. That's the other thing. If you guys have any name suggestions. She needs to be Olivia Evans. No. Because people will recognize that name and it'll help you. Even Reese Witherspoon's name kids don't use that name. That would be like if Reese Witherspoon's kids used your Witherspoon. People would be like, what? You know? What? You know what I mean? Like no. they have their dad's last Those earrings are so cute on you. Thank you. But you know what I mean. Whatever. Let's just sing a song. It'll make us feel better. Let's sing, um, let's sing Jesus Loves Me. I don't know that one. You can sing harmony. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tell. You don't know don't, Jesus Loves Me. I know, like, the kindergarten version. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. That's what I was getting ready to sing. to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Why don't you just keep singing? I know that part. Okay, so this weekend we went on the road, and we were so grateful to everybody who came to the shows. Um, and everybody wore masks, so I know that yeah. wasn't easy to be in the audience wearing a mask, but everyone did. Everyone was Separated. six feet apart. But I will say, I always talk about how my voice is... Uh, 
kind of like raspy on Mondays, but it's raspy today too because we did two 75 minute shows each day. Yeah, that was. And you know, I like to give it my absolute all to the audience. So the first show I gave it my all, second show I gave it my all. And then on Saturday we had two more 75 minute yeah, shows. Yeah, that was rough. But it was great. It was I loved so, it. So it was some of our best shows that we've ever it was done. so good. We added the new ending to the Chicago song. And that was like so freaking cool. And you and Emma came up front to help me sing on that. That was so cool. Yeah, that was so cool. Um, but then yesterday I had two and a half straight hours of of interviews about my book that's coming out. Yeah, speaking um, of. Let's talk about that. Here we go. So, y'all, I wrote a memoir, and it is coming out in two weeks. Wait, no way. Two weeks. Look at my nails. They're terrible. I won't show them. Okay. crazy. Um, it's called Born to so Fly. Soon. Yes, and it's just a memoir. It's not a full-blown, you know, autobiography, but it's um, because I still have, you know, so much to do, and there's just a lot of things that I didn't want to write about while you guys are still teenagers, and I thought that might embarrass you. So you didn't write about me? No, things about me that might embarrass you. You know what I mean? Oh. Um, but I Olivia has decided know. that she is going to make a movie about my life. It's a secret, Mom. Oh, that's a secret? Maybe that's why I should go to college and learn how to do that, because I have no idea how. Except for the creative side. I think that we should move to L.A., get you a record deal. They won't give me a record deal. Why? I have... You're At gorgeous and you're an amazing singer. Okay, everybody follow her and tell everyone to follow her. She needs how many? I'm just saying, like, it's not like they're going to, I don't know. Do you it's... have the blue check mark yet? No. No. Okay. Anyway, my memoir comes out September 8th <laughs> and you can pre-order it now. A friend of mine, Keith Gale, texted me today and said he already got his copy today. He's so excited. Um, I also read the audio, the Audible book, so... That's going to be really cool. I want to hear that. Mm -hmm. I can't wait I to hear that. I want to see if you sound different than you do in real life. I know. I think, I think it's fine. You sound the same, I think. I think it's going to be the same. But it's a great book. It's so dramatic. And, oh, I have to promote. I sent you this so we can okay. read it. So I have a virtual book tour coming up that starts September 7th, I believe, or 8th. Let me just read. Okay. Name virtual. all the dates, Levine. September, September 2nd, 2nd, premiere live signing. September 8th, live, left bank books in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, September 9th, uh, Parnassus. Parnassus books in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, September 10th, Books a Million in Birmingham. September 11th, Rainy Day books in Fairway, Kansas. So get on that. It's a virtual book tour. So I will be signing the books while I'm talking to you like this. That's so cool. I know, isn't that cool? But y'all, I think I'm losing my mind because of COVID. I really do. I can't take it anymore. That's you why you're so angry about last night. My ability to make money has gone away. Um, I look like Gretchen Wilson. Who's Gretchen Wilson? Who Maybe are you talking me. about? Who's Gretchen Wilson? Let me look. Because I'm a redneck woman. Oh, I, I ain't no hot red um, I can't remember the words. Maybe. I'm Maybe. a product of my raise and I say, hey, y'all, any hall. I can kind of see it. That's a long time ago. See? No. Go back there. I know. Hey, she's there. Good. All right. Well, anyway. So, <laughs> I'm like... Don't know where to go from there. Me neither. What were we going to talk about today? My book tour. Oh, and how I'm going crazy from Corona. Yeah. Um, I started reading again. Yes. Yeah, well, I love book to read. read. But it's just like, I don't really take the time to do it. So I just read another... I almost fell off my chair. So I um, just read another book called If I Fix You. And now I'm reading Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is the sequel to Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a play. But it's really good so far. So, um, yeah, I've been listening to East of Eden. Have I already mentioned that? Yes. Okay. East of Eden is absolutely incredible. If you've never read it, um, read it. But but the audiobook is amazing. It's an amazing actor, and you will love it. East of Eden is one of the best books that has ever been written. 
of our time besides this memoir. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I compare my memoir to East Sweden. I also have a new album that came out May 15th. It's my first covers album. I'll try to hide that nail with my with one nail. leftover nail. The pinky's showing. I know. Um, anyway, I wore a blonde wig. It's my first covers album. It's absolutely uh, probably my favorite record that I've ever done. So incredibly proud of it. Livy sang harmony on the whole record. Um, my son Avery played almost all the guitar parts on it. We had a blast. Um, I do have another daughter. Her name is Audrey. She's the one that oh, always... Yeah. Yeah, she she will not be on these lives. No. She's so ornery. Um, she wants to go to college for sure. But oh, and and oh, also um, September fourth. Yeah, September fourth. My album. No book. No, my album will be in Target stores. Oh. We're doing an album relaunch. That's awesome. Yeah, I should hold it that way. The nails look better. They do. Because they, I picked them off last night because that's so bad. They're gonna get mad at you. No, I didn't. I mean, I waited till they were ready to yeah. come off. And then here's another picture on the back. Um, but anyway, it has these songs on it. If I can't have you, I can't. Really, I really cannot sing today from those four shows. I can't sing either. <clears throat> today. Don't get me wrong. Come on, Eileen. Crazy love. Whenever I call you friend. Um, Philip Sweet is singing on. Whenever I call you friend with me. It's too late by Carol King. Monday morning, Fleetwood Mac. We put that in the live shows. All we ever do is say goodbye by John Mayer. We put that in the live shows. John is still ignoring me. So everyone, go tag John Mayer right now, please. We gotta, mm -hmm. we gotta He's get He's still ignoring me. Still. I'm so lonesome I could cry. Maybe he'll get my career started. Uh -huh. Yeah, John Mayer could. <laughs> I mean, I can get your career started if you will just let me. Oh my God, I tried to do crest white strips today. Can I notice how white your teeth look? Do they? Yes. Mine are like coffee, red wine. I cannot tell. I feel like you always have the whitest teeth. No, I don't right now. And oh, so I, I put a crust white strip on and I almost screamed. It hurts so bad. So why? I need to go. So you need sensitive ones or something. Yeah. Well, I need to go to the dentist and sometimes when I go to the dentist, um, they say that like my gums are receding so they'll patch That's them up. Know, yeah. So That's what I did the up. other day, mom, that I haven't told you yet. What did you do? I was going to brush my teeth, and I took my toothbrush, and I chipped my front tooth. Let me see. How, what is it? I mean, that sounds like something I would do. I <clears throat> have the worst tooth luck, if you know. If you've been keeping up with this show, we, it's been a process. I just got eight cavities filled. I almost lost my two eight front cavities teeth. Eight cavities filled. I almost lost my two front teeth back in the spring. Yes, because Carlisle punched you. Basically. <laughs> yeah, they were wrestling, tickling, or whatever. I don't know what they were doing. But okay. her teeth. <laughs> but it's right there. That's crazy. Oh. I can't believe I did that. It's okay. I mean, uh, most of my other teeth are chipped, too. Oh, I was going to talk about something else, but I completely forgot. What is it? Corona? Never. <laughs> um, Someone just texted um, that the... Republican National Convention is on right now and that we're we're in competition with him watching that. <laughs> he said he's going back and forth. We'll win you. So over. we'll try to make it um interesting and we do have amazing guests tonight. So she's coming up in just a few minutes. Yep. Um I don't know. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm going crazy because of Corona. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to have a lot of rage about it and I don't know what to do and I think that that she likes to take out on me when I call her at two AM. 2.45 to ask mommy if she can come get the dogs because they're barking. You're mean. I want y'all's opinions on that. Tell me if that would make you mad if your teenager did you that. You are mean. Why am I mean? You're mean no, for you're calling mean. me. Because I hate those dogs. I don't even... I don't even want to get started. The dogs make me more mad than all of them. Than Corona? Corona? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're all starting to just, like, when you're talking about how you're not doing anything and your life's not going anywhere, <laughs> that's, Corona is the reason we all feel that way because well, yeah. we've been in lockdown, we can't, we can't shop, we can't, I know that sounds funny, but like, you have to be so mindful of like, when are we going to be able to get back on the road, you know, like normal, 
and and provide income not only for our family but for our band and crew my daughter would do the same thank you and would it make you mad that's not the point the point is that that's not rare for someone to do that john said let's not talk about corona thank um, you i'm just saying i'm getting depressed like it, i am depressed too that's why i try and avoid anytime i hear the word corona or covid i typically leave the room because i just know that like it's going to make me want to go get in my bed and never leave. No, we could show some, some pictures. Oh, yeah, that's what we were going to okay. do. Audrey and Livy did... Oh, goodness. Uh, we went on a walk there? yesterday. Yes. What's the third that? One. I, I screenshotted it for you. Okay. Yesterday we went on a walk, yeah. I posted about it because we're, we're going to start walking every day except we didn't today. But today we you were, were busy. busy. I had an appointment and... Um, anyway, we live next to a school, so we're going to start going to the track and walking... Every day. So yesterday we went and we had an awesome time. It was really cool. Everything was great. I don't know what happened to me today. I think it's PMS. It is. I'm crazy today too. I'm insane. Why do you think I sprung that on you? This I'm morning? not insane. I'm sad and I'm mad and I'm just like my throat hurts because of all the singing and talking. Like, um, you just need some sleep. I'm not talking politics, Sour Chris. I'm just saying. Being in Sorry. the quarantine is is making the thing us crazy. In general, not not the politics of it. Yeah, I'm, I would never talk about politics mm -hmm. on here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll move. Talk on. about scary. Okay, to talk so, about scary. Here's me dancing with Audrey. So you and I'm smad. That's right. I'm sad and mad. And I'm just gonna bad I'm It's all gonna I'm be happy. better. I'm just a little bit like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being mad at you. It's okay. I you can go to college if you want. No, it's. Honestly, okay. you know that I will support whatever you decide to do. Well, I just don't want you to give up thinking, no. like, because we're in the in the mindset of corona. I think that that would I make want me you really to feel happy. Like, or the thought of going to college is bringing me out of the depression of COVID right now. Okay, well then good. You know? Then just keep the Because yes. I don't want COVID to end and then I feel like I'm still in COVID because I'm not doing anything. You won't. Well, we'll see. You won't. Once we can get out and go places and do things and... You'll feel so much better. But if you want to go to college, I'm totally supportive. I'll pay for it. I'll do whatever you want. Well, thank you. It'll all be good. If we can start touring again. Sister Ashley, <laughs> oh, there's there's Ruby. <laughs> My sister Ashley has three daughters. Two of them started school today, and that is Iris. Look how much she go closer. Look how much Iris and Olivia look like. This is the gene that runs so <laughs> strong in our family. That's crazy. The brown eyes. We all have the bags the under, under our eyes. eyes. But Iris looks so much like you. She looks a lot like Aunt Ashley now. Like way and you more. look just like Aunt Ashley. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and that's Ruby. She looks like Audrey and my niece, Lauren. Can, you can kind of see it if you look up there now. Yeah. You can see Ruby's face. Good job. All right, put it back. All right. These are some pictures that uh, Ron Kowalski posted that I decided to just show you guys. There's me with Joe Walsh. Coolest. <clears throat> the coolest photo. Mm -hmm. That's an old picture of me on stage. Isn't that funny? Oh, my gosh. Um... That one. Oh. I know. These are all great hairstyles that KK did. That was short hair. That was at the ACM Awards when Daddy J and I were dating. Yes, I remember mm -hmm. that. This is another one. KK just texted me. She forgot that we're on. It's all right. I um, I, I've again. always loved this picture. Isn't that funny? Yes, you always have. I know. I love that. I don't know why. And so, Oh, you should do the video of us racing. Can I show the one of the... Time lapse? The time... No. Is that... Yeah, that's, that's you, Libby. <laughs> Look how hilarious that is. I was trying to be funny, okay? But I ran at that thing. I never can remember the name of those. Ahead. I don't know either, like bat something. No, the what you're doing. Boomerang. 
Oh, you do not get me today. This is the three of us walking on the track. You do not get me today. I look like death. Me too. We were like we all do. We all look like death. Here's us learning the dance. Yeah, that's them learning the TikTok. Which is almost worse for me in this video. Audrey keeps getting so mad. Oh yeah. So she keeps having to go restart it because Audrey's the dancer. She and it took me forever do. to learn that simple dance. I can't do it. I literally can't. See how long it took? <laughs> yeah. So then this is... I was getting so bored. And then that's you two racing. <laughs> Which, okay, I started laughing, okay? And so I couldn't keep up. Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Audrey beat you by... It. So you know No, what? she did I was <laughs> laughing and not ready. You know what the We're truth is? I could beat both of them in a foot race. I don't know. Because I'm so. such a fast runner. I usually am too. I just didn't There's do me and KK. KK. That's the most gorgeous so picture good. of KK. I had to post that. I know. Um, this is our dinner last night. Chicken salad from Zoe's. Yep. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> um, anyway, that's another one of me walking the dogs in mm. Birmingham. But I was trying to get to this from over the weekend. Oh, that's a cute one. That's so cute. Except you can't really see me. Um, these are my iconic pants Ugh. that I always post. I post these like once a year. I know. They no, were from the Gap. Those, like once a month. <clears throat> yeah. And then this is you, um. Oh, that's, Audrey what? is not going to want that on there. I know. She's going to be so mad. Do not. Look at this I was, I was Avery. popping her back. Yeah, that's disgusting. I can't believe you guys do that. <laughs> okay. So we, it was Avery's actual birthday when we were on the road this weekend. And so we got him a cake. Uh, whose legs are those? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, oh, isn't that cute? That's cute. Mm hmm. There's this cake with Emma. Emma looks so skinny in this picture. She looks adorable, like always. I mean, she is skinny, but I'm just saying, like, her face is like. Um, They're so yeah, cute. Yeah, that, that's so cute. And that cake, the caterers made that for us. Yeah. It was homemade vanilla cake, and it was absolutely Oh, my. It might have been delicious. the greatest cake that I've ever had. Ever. And then there was some pizza that we had. Yeah. Yeah. There's so, anyway, is it time to bring on our special guest? I think so. If she's on here. Okay, you guys. Go. Um, I met this girl last year, or almost two years ago, I guess, because... Um, we did the girls' night out tour, because yes. CMT is always trying to promote women in country music. And um, so this tour is called the CMT Next Women of Country. Uh, so it was me and Kaylee Shore, and I'm the worst with names. She is. It's nothing personal. Hey, Ray, Ray, You'll get it. Ray Lynn. Ray Lynn. Yes. yes. It's, it's not personal. It's just I can't remember people's names. Um, and so I just, we fell in love with Kaylee, didn't we? She was yeah. so sweet. And... Really, really cool music. She plays guitar. She's like just, you know, a very down to earth, genuine person. I got to meet yeah. her family, her mom. Uh, so I texted her earlier today and just said, Hey, do you want to come on Closet Chaos? And she immediately wrote back, I'd love to. But read her accolades. All right. Talk a little bit about her. Well, she grew up in Portland, Maine. Read her first song at the age of six. Um, wow. Her debut album was Open Book, and it was released in September of 2019, so recently. Um, her latest single is called F You Forever. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Let's hear a little bit of that. Turn All it right. on, Libby. F You Forever. Let's see. I mean, I'm sure the F stands for Forget You Forever. It does. Oh, yeah, no. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Forever. There, it was just right there. No, it wasn't. I don't... Go back to her. I saw I it. I wasn't on her. I saw it. I'm so bad. Just keep talking while I do this. No, that's not how you spell it. It's two R's. Got it. Okay. Well... Livy's so fast. It makes me so angry. Maybe it's not. not it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Okay. I knew I would. Play it. Is it connected? No. I'm just struggling. What today. is wrong with you? Honestly. Don't mind me, everyone. It's not my fault. <laughs> How do you Why did that turn them? off? Okay, sorry. Anyway, um. 
It's just because... It's just today. It's just today. It just happens with us sometimes. Kaylee, where are you? There, there she, she was. Is. I know! You're so fast. Oh my god. It freak. All right. Hi! Hi, guys! Oh, hey. How are you? <laughs> I love the choice and song to play. I'm great. I miss you both. We miss you, too. I love the song. That I do, so too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There's a lot of people that I want to say that to. Oh, um, for sure. Right now. Yeah. For sure. Um, it, is that about someone specific? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, the album was made at the, so literally right after we got off tour, um, I went through a breakup with someone I'd been with for six years and it ended in just like the most cliche country song way it possibly could have. And, um, you know what? He got a lot of regrets, and I got an album. So, love Way it. to go. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, when you say cliche, oh, I love that you're having red wine. Thanks. <laughs> my um, love it. Tito's, <laughs> White Monster, and then the Mio shots. That sounds amazing. White Thank Monster you. is like. It's amazing. <laughs> and then the Mio shot just gives it a little, like, fun flavor. I love that. Um, yes, we loved touring with you. We miss you so much. And um, you and Raylan would come out at the end of every show and do Girls Just Want to Have Fun mm -hmm. with me. And that was so awesome. We still do that song in our shows, by the way. I have a picture. Uh, so oh, you wow. gave me this cute little plaque. And I have the one um, that you gave me over there. And uh, that was my first plaque. And then my second one is... Uh, from the New York Times Best Albums, but they're sitting right next to each other. Congratulations! That's yeah. That is wow. awesome. So what's going on? Uh, first of all, I want to talk about, you wrote your first song at age six. Was that a real song? And can you sing it for us? You know, okay, so I don't remember how it goes. I do have a lot of songwriting notebooks. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna do like something on social media where I play them, because I remember how so many of them go. But the one I wrote when I was six, I remember getting in trouble because I was in history class and um, I was writing this song and it was about having a sleepover. And I had not been able to have soda yet. My parents were like super hippie, so I didn't have soda until like, <laughs> 11. So it was about like sneaking in the kitchen and stealing soda. And it's it really was such a country song, except like if it was a real one, it would have been about like stealing vodka. <laughs> right. yeah. Wow, so why? Were you not allowed to have soda? Why is that a hippie thing? Like there's I think it's a hippie food. thing. Yeah, so like I teased on like carrots. Like I was like super my dad's been a vegetarian his whole life and they're like very into health food and stuff. Um which is kind of good cuz I don't really like like I like a good diet Dr Pepper and uh -huh. that's about it, but I didn't like have cravings for soda, but this however. Yeah. <laughs> well, wine is good for you. Wine is good for you, yeah. It's good for your heart. It's good for your mind. Have you have you been watching the show before we brought you on tonight? Yes, I had, and my I had a bunch of friends who were tuning in too. I love okay. the um, because um, Livy and I are like in the worst mood today, like yeah. the worst mood. I'm having such bad PMS. Is that TMI to talk about? No, fifty one percent of the population has that. Yes. Why is it TMI? You know, exactly. like. And I'm mad at her because she told me today that she wants to go to college. And no. I just want her to graduate high school and go right into music. And so 
Did you go to college, Kaylee? Well, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I wanted, I thought for a minute I wanted to go to college, and my senior year of high school, um, I was 18, so I could work full time. So I was in high school, I was working 40 hours a week, and then I ended up graduating early so I could work even more to move to Nashville. So I was working like 70 hours a week before I moved. Um, and I had gotten into Vanderbilt. I didn't apply to Belmont, um, but I, I had gotten into Vanderbilt and my mom actually said to me, she was like, it's gonna be hard for you to, you know, you're gonna wanna pursue music and you're gonna be taking like a sociology class. And there's, there's so many beautiful things to learn, but I found for me like cutting straight to the chase was really good. And, um, you know, there's definitely moments where I look back and I'm like, oh, college would have been fun. But then I think about how, you know, my dream job was getting a publishing deal and I signed that at 20, which would have been my sophomore year of college. Right. And, you know, nobody in the music industry is going to be like, do you have a degree? Can, to, because we can't give you a record deal unless you do. Yeah. So you do you, but for me, per, I never want to be the person who's like, kids don't go to college. But like, for yeah. me, that was the absolute best choice I could have made. So. Take. That is amazing that you got your pub deal at 20. Yeah. That's it was so awesome. awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do or not go to college, but uh, it definitely is, you know, like you, your mom said, you're going to be wanting to do music and having to work on a sociology or algebra or something. Yeah. It's going to make you insane because, you know, Livy, like you, like me, we were born, you know, to do music, but Mm. I'm not telling you're you. You're such a superstar girl. I mean, I like, I love that cover of EXO that you did. That was so good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, so are you. So have you been like, just come to a dead halt, you know, since February, as far as not touring? Yes. Yeah, so I literally, <laughs> I was, had just started my first ever headlining tour. I played what I think was like, uh, we'll, we'll just say sold out. It was like very, very, very close to sold out. So we'll just round up. Um, yeah, of course. The first night was at Exit Inn in Nashville. And I'd always wanted to play there. Um, it was one of the best nights of my life. I mean, literally, so New Year's Eve, I played, um, I opened for Keith Urban and Stevie Nicks downtown at the Nashville Mid like Music City Midnight for like 200,000 people. So I'm like on cloud nine. I'm like, 2020 is going to be my year. I'm ready. <laughs> And then I was supposed to be touring with Martina McBride, and um, she'd heard my album, fell in love with it, asked me to come out on the road with her. I was supposed to do my first UK tour, and that was all, like, um, you know, January through May. And then this happens, and it, it was just, like, a dead halt. However, some things have happened during quarantine that I did not think would ever happen, and I can't announce them. My manager called me, like, an hour before this, and he was like, Kaylee, if you say anything about that on the Instagram live, <laughs> but I have big news coming soon. So, I'm so oh, that's it. Oh my God! Well, congratulations, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah, it. I mean, I'm sure you kind of feel similarly, but like it kind of sort of starts to feel like the world's waking back up. I mean, I don't know the next time I'm gonna be able to like tour for real. Um, I had some shows rescheduled for October, and I was like, y'all, that's ambitious and clearly right. Yeah. 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 We have a couple this weekend, this past weekend, we did two 75 minute shows each day. Yeah. And that was really hard, but everybody wore masks, you know, they were six feet apart. Everybody got the their shit taken and all that. And so I really appreciated the fans. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm glad you got to do, do that. that. Yeah. I, I, I want to know what your news is. You're going to have to text me. When I, you know, I will. I'll like, text you. I promise I'll text you. <laughs> yeah. So how's your mom? I, I'll never forget meeting your mom in New York, right? Very few people do. Um, yes, she texted or she called me like right before I was about to go on. And I was like, Mom, I'm about to go live. She's like, I know. Um, tell Sarah I said hi. I was like, okay. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Tell yeah. her, what is her name again? Kathy. Kathy, mm -hmm. how are you? Um, it's so great to be on live with your sweet daughter. But it was <laughs> so awesome to meet you in New York City. And I hope we run into each other again. She's very cool. And your brother was there. Yes, yeah. My a lot of my family's been been able to come out. Um, my brother's getting married. I'm really excited about that. Congratulations! Amazing. And I'm a. I got his um, fiance is like the most amazing person. I mean, it's really cool when like I mean you guys know with like Emma like when you you know mm -hmm. one of your siblings starts dating somebody 
and you just yeah. love them and you're like, oh my God, I get a bonus sister. Yeah, like, such a blessing. Really yeah. And so and I just got asked to be a bridesmaid, so I'm really excited about that. That's incredible. <laughs> how old is your brother? Oh, he's like 35? 35? No, he's a little older. Than, I think he's like 35, 36. So my parents had me very late in life, so I'm significantly younger than everybody else. Uh -huh. um, I'm the baby by like seven years, so I was definitely yeah. a little bit of a noobs. <laughs> Yeah. Well, congrats. I'm so glad he's getting married. It's time for him to get married. I know. I know. And she's so great. I get to walk his dog down the aisle. <laughs> oh, That's my amazing. God. We, do you have a dog? Um, I have a cat, um, but I foster dogs a lot. So I've been fostering dogs during quarantine that are rescues from animal testing. So that's been, it's really sad to let them go, but it's also really beautiful to get to like bond with them. Yeah. I had one named oh, Mason. She was really cute. She needs to foster our dogs. Yeah, it's <laughs> our dogs. Because our dogs are driving us insane. I don't know if they're going crazy from quarantine as well. Because, <laughs> or they can just feel that we're going crazy. But our golden doodle gypsy is um, one that you need to foster for like a week. Okay. <laughs> And we'll pay She's you so. <laughs> to keep her. <laughs> um, oh my God. Well, what else is going on with you? When do you think? Um, so you've got this new single, F You Forever, which mm -hmm. we love. Yeah, thanks. And how's it going as far as is it getting much radio play? Like, what's happening? Well, with a song like F You Forever, Radio play is interesting, um, but we did release it. The album is country. There's a traditional country instrument on every song. That was, like, really important to me. Um, it pulls a lot from my 90s country influences as well as, like, 90s rock. And, um, yeah. I mean, I – so, okay, you did um, – I forget what album it was of yours, but you worked with the band from The Wallflowers, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, okay. I, I did the drummer. So Yes, okay. I yeah. remember hearing about this. That's so cool. So that's like some of my favorite kind of music too. So you know, like, you know, the, the crossover between country and, and all of, you know, the, the 90s rock stuff. I mean, if you go back and you listen to like even a Sheryl Crow song, you're like, that yeah. could be on country radio now. Um, yep. And she did a country record. But I think, um, so we released Effie Forever as an alternative song though, just because I think it fits in more on those playlists. But um you know, it's, it's been interesting just to kind of have things kind of stall out a little bit in 2020. I mean, I think I've been doing my best to, to stay busy, but it's about to get very, 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 very busy. So I'm going to have to like adapt because, I mean, do you ever look back at what our days were like pre-quarantine and be like, how did I do that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can't. It's like trying to remember times before the cell phone. Yeah, How totally. did we do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I think about it. Like today I, I taped my radio show. I did this, I um, filmed like a couple songs for like a, a live that's gonna be like, you know, post-dated. And then I did a movie audition and it only took me like three hours, but I was like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> right. Yeah, I feel like one little thing, like I had one appointment today and I had like two and a half hours worth of phone interviews yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely exhausted, like you. And like nobody yeah. remembers how to wear pants, like living yeah, that hotel. I'm I mean, wearing sweats. Every single time we do like a cute top and then just sweats, which I'm sure you do as well. And all yes. of the Zoom stuff, I'm just like, wow. I know, I know. But it's so funny because I'm like, I look back and I'm like, literally, like CMA Fest. CMA Fest, I saw someone just comment say, Kaylee, your CMA Fest made me tired. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's that's not actually like stop work. So, yeah. and at the beginning, like in February, I, I just was like, you know, this is probably going to be like, take advantage of this. You'll never mm -hmm. be able to rest this way and be kind of for, it's like a snow day. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but now it's been, you know, a snow day since February and it's, you know, I think we're all just ready to get back to work and have a, some semblance of normalcy yeah. and schedule and all of that. Totally. Yeah. I absolutely agree. I mean, you know what? I think it's nice, though, because I I lived on my own for, like, years, and then I moved in with roommates right before, just because, like, I have a cat, and I was supposed to be on the road all year, so I was like, I'm going to live with some people. I'm never going to be home, and they're both musicians, and I adore them both, um, and we moved in together two weeks before quarantine, and I moved from, like, a high-rise to a place with a yard, and, like, thank God, you know, because you guys get to make music together, and we get to make music together. And I think that that's been like my saving grace with all of this is having oh, yeah. a and a family band. 
<laughs> you, yeah, you might have gone crazy. I would have. Yeah, I mean, I would have been bouncing off the walls. Like, my poor cat would have probably just hated me. <laughs> I know. And I haven't seen my mom in, like, almost a year. Like, I'm just, yeah. you know, like, know. ugh. But anyway, well, you're, yeah, you're also a great guitar player, which. Thank you. Everybody who knows your music knows that. But I should have mentioned that before. You guys need to get together and write a song. Yeah. I would love nothing more. Me that would too. be super fun. I would love that. That would be awesome. But I refuse to write a Zoom song. Have you written a Zoom song? I have. Um, I have. Now, there's been a few, because I already had COVID, and I still have the antibodies. I'm still being really careful, but I've gone to some rites where we've all been wearing masks, and, you know, I'm getting tested really, really often. Um, and that seems to be safe. I mean, I'm working on recording some new stuff, so my producer and I have been working together. And there's just nothing like being in the room together. There's nothing right. like um, I did write one, like, a couple really good songs on Zoom, but I definitely don't enjoy the process nearly as much yeah, yeah I, I can't even imagine it but i do need to start you know writing getting ready for my next album but i mm -hmm. just don't want to do it on zoom you yeah. and i maybe we could write we could we could do a zoom write with kaylee yeah oh, that'd that'd be fun. Fun. <laughs> yeah well thank you so much for coming on our show we wish you all the best i wish you could tell us what your big i'm gonna text you are. right now i promise <laughs> i know i'm trying to guess Y'all are the best. I just adore you so much. Um, and I'm so glad you asked me to join. Also, I'm like to have such closet envy. Oh, like I can barely see what's in the oh, background, yeah. but it all looks amazing. That neon. Well, thank you. <laughs> There's a whole other rack over there too. Yeah, we're like, looking at it. Not just identical rack right across from us. But yeah. amazing. Thank you so much. All right. We love, love you both. Man. Thank you. Not waste. I wish you all the best. Oh, Can't wait because... to hear you on the radio and, and see what you're Yes. Surprises. And y'all can go together and write. All right. I would love that. All right. Bye, guys. Yeah, enjoy your wine. Thank you. Bye. Uh, love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Rupa. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She really is. Wait, what happened with her mom? What do you mean? You go, I've never, I'll never forget meeting your mom. It was just so fun. Like, yeah, it was after our debut show in New York City for the Next Woman of Country Tour. Yeah. And her mom was just so, like, we talked forever and you know, they were like, they were like, I was when I first started yeah. and like opening for Reba McIntyre and my, you know, Granny Pat would come to the show. So if Granny Pat had yeah, spent some time talking to Reba, she would just be like, we're so thankful. Thank you for having yeah. our daughter. Well, that's so sweet. Yeah. And so I just, you know, really had, and it was, I think it was funny because Kaylee kept checking in to see if maybe <laughs> I was. You know, like, and, you know, like if I wanted to go or something, I was like, no, we're having the best time. That's um, so awesome. I know. So anyway, thank you, Kaylee. I yes. love the song. F you forever. It's a really good song for it. Is, it is a very good song. Um, and I just want to remind you about the virtual book tour because my manager told me to plug the crap out of this because um, it, it really is like you, you need to finish reading it. I know. I've read most of it. I really have. Yes. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just turned right to mine and Daddy Jay's marriage vows. I promise to love your children as my own. I promise to help you raise your children. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to laugh with you. I promise to have fun with you. So sweet. That wasn't all of it, but that was, that was a part of it. And then here's a picture from, from the book. The wedding. The wedding where we all stuck our tongues out. Look how little you guys are. I know, that's Crazy. Yes, and of course I had to hold Audrey. She made me hold her the whole the time. The whole time. Mm -hmm. The whole it's, way. Yeah. Um, so our virtual tour is September 2nd. Um, pull it back up. Through, I think it was September 11th. Yeah, so I'll read it again. Uh, premier live signing, September 2nd. September 8th is Left Bank Books in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, the 9th is Parnassus Books in Nashville, Tennessee. I hope I'm saying that right. September 10th is Books a Million in Birmingham, Alabama. And that is also Harrison Sarash's birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we'll be in Birmingham. That might be, be fun. And then September 11th is Rainy Day Books in Fairway, Kansas. So, um, so exciting. Yeah, I just want to apologize for being so grumpy today. It's okay, me too. Honestly, Louise. Formal truth. If you want to go to college, you can go to college. Well, we'll figure it out. It's going to be a group no, effort decision. <laughs> A whole process. It's not just like, 
Yes. Or no. uh, yes, uh, absolutely. And you know what? You can try it. And if you don't like it, you don't have to exactly. stay. Exactly. But I, I um, respect you for wanting to try it. And just like organic five, three, eight, four, nine, seven, just said, it's all good. It's all good. Heart, heart emoji. Heart, heart emoji. It is all good. Would you go to Belmont? Someone wants to know. Probably. Can you sing it all? I'm like super right hoarse. Right now? Mm -hmm. Or just in general. <laughs> and now. I'm so hoarse. Okay. Mom, Avery said she just won't pay for it. Yeah. If you want to go to college, that is totally fine. Like Avery just said, I, but I will not pay for it. Will you pay for it, Avery? Yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, Avery. Hi. Um, are you an Uno I love when Avery comments on these, but won't answer my texts. Avery does, does that not to me text. every day. Every day. It's Avery's age group, but they don't, I don't answer know. texts. He specifically does not like to answer anyone. And I get so offended every time. Every hey, time. we're getting massages on Thursday. Oh. I forgot. Someone just mentioned that we should get a massage, you know, to, and we're getting, well, we're getting feet and hand re reflexology. Amazing. Is that good? Yes. Yeah. Cause my back has been really bad. Hi, Emma. Um, hi, Emma. We love Emma you. Emma has known about my college idea but longer than anyone. Emma? Yeah. No, but it was a secret. Why? I don't understand that. No, you from you and Avery and anyone else. Oh, you my... didn't want Avery to know either? No. Yeah. We'll we'll just talk about it. It's it's gonna be great. It's gonna you're next week gonna I'm gonna it. next week we'll be on here and I'll be saying, Remember that time I thought I was gonna go normal? Right. Except I might, so let us not jump the gun. So we have a very special guest next week as well that we will um Who's a special guest. It's can we oh, announce it? No, not yet. Okay. I mean, I think they just saw you <laughs> say <laughs> you know, it's like in front of everything. I just, so I literally to want to leave. Let's read, sing one song before we go. You sing, please, and I'll do harmony. But what song? Give us a request, quickly. Quickly. How about, I don't know. We heard you, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You gave the secret. Oh, I know. Well, I wasn't really trying to whisper that that softly. Yeah. Um, how about Stand By Your Man? Oh my God, that's so hard. Stronger. Um, okay. Let's do, you don't know Stand By Your Man. Really. So we'll do Let's do as if. Okay. Oh God, that's so hard. Just sing it lower. How does it go? Oh. Um, I and I, and I, as if this blue sky's never gonna rain down on me I'm telling myself this true love's never gonna leave me lonely unless there's something I miss I'm acting as if as if as if wait what album is that on? Greatest Hits it wasn't like on another album? No, we wrote that for the Greatest Hits album and that, it made it into the top five. That right? used to be my favorite song of yours. We wrote it just for that album. Um, How do the verses go? I love the way you wear those worn out blue jeans walking all around in the big sunshine. Okay, play F you forever. Okay. I hope this didn't turn off. Okay, good. This you guys, thank you. Sorry we're in a bad mood. Sorry, Libby. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. We'll be better. We made it better. I'm we'll just be going to get wasted right now. You know I'm what? Kidding. I'm going to go eat some food <laughs> and apply to college. <laughs> <laughs> Better as a team to you, but what you really hate me was your sex.